Hi everyone, Lead Assassin here. The issues surrounding the state of the Master Chief Collection have taken their toll on everyone. You only have to look on any forum, Twitter, or even around here on YouTube to find tons of people that are angry and or frustrated with the game. And for good reason. You know, the Master Chief Collection has really caused all of us Halo fans to lose something. Though the one thing is, lots of us are really going about handling it the wrong way. And don't get me wrong, people have reason to be upset and angry. But it's gotten to the point where a lot of people have gone a bit too far. You know, we've all lost something thanks to MCC. For some people, we just lost our 60 bucks we put down in the game. But for others, it's quite a bit more. Honestly, if people are just mad about the money, that's definitely the least, least of your worries. The 60 bucks you pay for the game, if you work a full-time job, you've already made up, you know, numerous times over. And if you bought an Xbox One just for the Master Chief Collection, then I'm sorry this might be a little insincere. The only anger you should really have toward anyone is at yourself for financial irresponsibility. If you're really going to drop that much money on a console for one game, and then be mad about it, you should really think about how you spend your money. Uh, if you have the spare income to go throw that kind of money around, well, then fine, but if not, you know that's really on yourself. Putting all that faith in one game, broken or not, can be seen as a waste of money just in general. No, that's just how I look at it, so I apologize if I upset anyone by saying that, but I mean really it is a sign of that. You know, many of us Halo fans have had a, such high hopes for Master Chief Collection, and the fact that it didn't really deliver really did hurt. You know, many of us have lost our group of friends to play with because they simply don't want to deal with the bullshit that goes into playing with you know the Master Collection. The fact that we have to deal with people not joining lobbies and sometimes really long wait times. And though a lot of the bullshit like uneven teams I haven't seen in a very long time, there are some still annoying glitches around in the game. You know, a lot of us have lost our pre Master Collection hope and hype for the Halo series. You know, we thought there's going to be Halo's resurgence, and instead, you know, if you look at the Twitch numbers, it's pretty much back to where we were in Halo 4. You know, to think Halo 4 is seen as Halo's lowest possible point, but at least back then we banded together and made the best of it. You know, at, at times you can go on, you look forward to Cleams of Battle Royales, or Dylan get competitive customs going, or just seeing people on who wanted to play together. You know, there's always someone to party up with, whether they go online, there'd be Silver and Blue, or Pretty Spartan, or Clean Up, Raps, Major, Delementary, someone was always on. You know, and with MCC, we kind of lost all that. And even, you know, the faith we were starting to get back in 343. That's been lost, too. So, we all, as a community, have lost a lot. But there's two ways of dealing with loss. And I think for the most part, a lot of the Halo community has chosen the unhealthy way. You know, adopting a negative attitude during times of loss is the worst thing you could do. And again, I'm not saying under these circumstances that voicing our anger was wrong at first. You know, that just having outbursts and being angry about it isn't wrong. But constantly giving in to the negativity and spreading the negativity is just a bit too much. You know, I've seen constant hate tweets. Some people bullying people who, you know, who actually like the MCC still and can play it. Looking down on those people. And just create tons of negative negativity, whether it be videos on the subject. Doesn't do anything for Halo. Dwelling on the negative feelings just helps them grow and makes you feel worse. And makes other people feel worse. You know, sending backhanded tweets about Halo doesn't doesn't help. Doesn't make you look cool. It just fuels the fire for those who already are negative and makes them grow. You know, it just makes you more bitter and makes other people more bitter. It was unfortunate when you look at it, you know, negativity spreads easily. Being a positive person and having, you know, a positive outlook doesn't as much. It gets you criticized by those very negative people. 
So you just gotta watch. Spreading negativity is just really, really easy to do. And of course, there's those people out there who just enjoy putting other people down. And, you know, those who once said they were all about Halo who just love love the fact that it's down. And, you know, that just shows that person that they are. If they really want to enjoy putting people down and spreading it. I guess that's just how they are. And, you know, I'm talking about negativity. I guess the real question is, how do you stay positive as a Halo fan? And it's not easy. You know... If you can tolerate what it takes to play MCC with friends, you know, that's great. But, you know, if you can't, then, you know, maybe it's time to take that passion and drive you have for Halo and focus in other positive ways. You know, whether it be in another game like Destiny or Battlefield or, you know, there's, there's a lot of other games out there, Either other systems, you know. Do you want to go into Smash and all people have been interested in? There are other games to focus it in, or... You know, maybe put it to improving yourself, maybe... Looking into... You know, working out more, or... Improving your diet, or maybe... Looking up how to increase your skill set for your job. Or just any way you can. You know, for me personally, I'm a graphic designer. I've been trying to look into tutorials on how to do other effects in Photoshop and Illustrator and stuff like that. You know, and the one thing that a lot of people think that look that people overlook is the best thing is if MCC is eventually fixed, classic Halo experience everyone wants will be back, will be there to come back to. I know it won't mend fences with 343, but it'll be there to play. I know some people out there are saying that they can't bring themselves to get over the launch, and if you really are that bitter, and angry over a video game, Five minutes remain. maybe then it's time to move on. If you can't get over the fact that, you know, the Magic Collection was so broken at launch, maybe there's a bigger issue there, because it's not healthy to dwell on something so much, especially something that's really not as important overall in life as a video game. I don't know, I know if if you don't want to go back because maybe the numbers won't be there, the player population, that's fine. But if there's some kind of anger that you can't get over, maybe it is time to just, you know, move on. You know, instead of people sitting there making your anti-Halo vids, maybe take that time you'd use to make that video into learning how to edit videos better. So you can imp your videos can improve. Instead of sending hateful tweets at 343 or just you know, your 1,000th angry Halo tweet. Maybe go on there and text a friend or a fan member you haven't talked to in a while. You know, as much as it sucks that lots of us can't play Match Chief Collection together, it also doesn't mean we can't play other games together. There's a handful out there on Xbox One, and there's tons on the last generation consoles. You know, I, I know it's not Halo, it doesn't substitute for a lot of people, but there are other ways to play. I know I've played with Cleanup and Rapscallion, Retreat by Mopey, in the Hardline beta. You know, I've been actually still playing with a lot of those guys and actually collection having a lot of fun. It's not a game over, basically what I'm trying to say. You know, even if you experience other, you know, game series during this downtime, you know, you might even find you enjoy some more than Halo. You never know. Now, the main reason I'm doing this commentary is because over the past few months, like I alluded to in my New Year's video, you know, it's been put into perspective how much of a first world problem the Mass Chief Collection is and, you know, Halo 5's change issues, you know, they really are. The fact that people react so harshly over it is really telling about how messed up our priorities have become. And honestly, guys, it's just a game. We've lived life before Halo, and we will live life once Halo is, you know, done. You know, over the past few months, I've seen friends and family members lose things infinitely more important than what we as a gaming community have lost. You know, I've seen friends lose loved ones who could never be replaced. 
and family members have to give up body parts to save their lives. Though their circumstances were a lot worse than what we've gone through, they pushed through. They made it through. Because they were able to stay positive and focus their energy on something positive. You know, when you step back and look at it, this might be something you're passionate about, but it really is just a hobby. You know, it's, e it's also easy in today's society, in our social media world, to get caught up in all that anger and hate and overreaction that we see so much. You know, getting angry about these things is really the first reaction we go to, but it's not one that we have to stay dwelling on. I know it's not easy, but the only thing we can really do is try to remain positive and use our time and energy to focus on something else if the Master Chief Collection is really bothering you. You know, as Halo fans, I'm not saying this is the best thing, it's far from it, but it's what we have to do until we can all return to playing Halo together. Whether that's in a month or two or a few months if MCC ever is fixed, or you know, this fall with Halo 5. You know, maybe a lot of us won't want to come back once we can play Halo, and that's fine. Like I said, if it really bothers you and or you find something other game you're more passionate about, great. You know, that dub that, that's really good too. But we can all still play games together. It doesn't have to be Halo. You know, in the end, if we can take anything from Halo, take the friendships you made with people who you never would have met otherwise through Halo. You know, and a lot of people on here have become really good friends. The important thing is that we keep that intact. Not so much the fact that we can't play a game. 343 might have taken away our ability to play Halo with our friends. But the fact we can't play Halo hasn't taken away the friends we made through it. Alright guys. Hopefully you guys will take something from this commentary today. It's been one that I've been writing and rewriting over the past few weeks. Just trying to get it right and I hope I made my point come across. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.